Target HR, Tracy speaking. Hey, uh, Tracy, it's Surreal from Fulfillment. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it into work today. Oh, and why is that? Um, my car is under four feet of snow. Well, Surreal, we need you in today. There's a lot of OPUs to do. OP, 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 OP. Who's, who's ordering shit in this weather? Frosty and his fucktard friends. Look, 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 look. Tracy, I cannot come into work today. It is just too crazy outside. Okay, you're fired. What the f- Oh, Target. The magical store where your girlfriend will drag you just to get Starbucks and walk around and get unnecessary things she does not need. Ugh. Magical place, isn't it? Man, fuck Target. This Target K in this month. When I was 16, I used to work at Target. Two different Targets, to be exact. And I got fired by both those Targets. Now, some of you may be wondering, how the hell did this nigga get to work at two Targets? You can barely get hired at one. Well, let me tell you a secret. Be Negro. See, <laughs> see, Target loves diversity, but the Negroes can't afford to shop there. That's okay. Just hire them to do a bunch of the work so it seems like there's plenty of black people in the store. <laughs> oh my, I'm kidding. It's a joke. It's a joke, okay? Obviously, we can afford stuff in there. The Kool-Aid was always out of stock. I was a good employee if I say so myself. Did my work in a timely fashion, crossed my I's, dotted my T's, was kind to customers, and always helped my coworkers. I mean, did I take unnecessarily long breaks? Yes. Did I borrow some merchandise? Maybe. You can't prove it. Did I hit one of those, oh yeah, let me check the back for you, and not check the back? Multiple times. Sounds like you're a pretty shitty employee. So I used to work for Filmmate at Target, and for those who don't know, according to their job description, <clears throat> The fulfillment team picks, sorts, preps, and packs products safely, efficiently, and effectively to deliver convenience and quality to our guests. Bullshit. Now here's my job description of fulfillment. Getting time to run around the store to put 50 to 60 individual items in bags for ungrateful snobby customers who yell at you if the store doesn't have their goddamn gluten-free pasta. And, and let me touch on that real quick. Hey, yo. Why are people so damn lazy nowadays? Like, I understand it's my job to do pickup orders and I get paid to do that. That's cool. But what puzzles me is why people can't get their own shit sometimes. I once had an order where someone ordered an apple. Not an apple product. No, 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 no. A single apple. And to top it off, it was a Macintosh apple. Like, if you're going to waste my time and get an apple, at least get a good apple, you dirty motherfucker. Work at retail is probably the worst job I've ever done, and it's something I will never do again. That and fast food. Man, I put that on Granny Smith. Now, the job itself isn't as bad as you would think. It's a lot of time by yourself, and if you're an introvert like me, you appreciate that sort of thing. But I think a lot of people can agree with me on this, and the reason why retail is so unbearable is because of two things, and that's disrespectful customers and shitty management. Mm, hey, Sorrel, about five people called out in each department tonight, so we're going to need you to pick up the slack for them all. Um, okay, are you going to help at all? <laughs> me? Fuck no. See, if you need me, I'll be in the office playing Candy Crush. If you have a question, don't. Target operates the same way a lot of these other companies do. You have your normal store employees, you have your team leaders who are in charge of each department, then you have management, HR, etc., etc. And I absolutely dis despised my team leaders and management at those stores. The majority of them did absolutely nothing but breathe down your neck, eat snacks, and jump down your throat when you can't find something. Hey, yo. These niggas were always on a power trip. The rules they had didn't make sense whatsoever. You're telling me I'm not allowed to put in one AirPod while I'm socking the candle section at 8.30 at night because it's a safety hazard? Look at these nuts as a safety hazard. Why don't you come here and suck my- Giving a person too much power really messes with them. You give somebody an earpiece, two extra dollars in their paycheck, and you would think they was Jeff Bezos running his slave operation of a company he calls Amazon. <laughs> oh man, they really got y'all fucked up over there. And I'ma keep buying shit. <laughs> Oh, we love our Amazon workers. See, both these targets had a knack for drawing in dim-witted customers. Excuse me, do you have any PS5s available? Uh, no, nah, that's not my department, but you can go over to tech and find out. But you work here. Ma'am, that's not my department. I work fulfillment. But you can go to the back and still look. You know, you work here. Ma'am, 
That is not my department. But you can go back, ma'am. The amount of rude and ignorant people that shop at Target is staggering. They will treat you like a doormat because you got a red polo and a name tag on. Expecting you to juggle knives while you're doing your job just to help them out. I ain't no damn slave. You look like a damn jungle bunny if I ever seen one, boy. So what ultimately got me fired at both Targets was doing too many no-call, no-shows. And it's been about two years since I've worked at Target. And while making this video, I'm just sitting here thinking, damn, maybe I should go back to talk to HR and management and just apologize for everything. Psych, nigga, it's Target K in this bitch, man. 